Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, we've got a package today. This is from Starry Lock all the way over in the United States, and um, yeah, can't wait to have a look at what we get. So, um, I, I don't know what's been used to. There we go. Please stick this together, but there's some really strong tape on this. Ah, there we go. Right. Lots of um, I think this is just some yep bubble wrap packaging which I will reuse actually because it looks really robust I like that um, oh cool yes look this is um, some stickers I don't have oh, do I have any starry lot stickers I thought I did but I don't have these ones, even if I did. So um, I've got some, wow, a whole bunch of them. That's awesome. These are really cool. They're, they're gonna go in my um, uh, case of picks. I've got a sort of this big box, which I have a load of uh, pick sets in, which is covered in all these stickers. So that's really cool. Thank you for those. Oh, look at this one. What's this? Wow, it's like a um, holographic one. Very cool. It looks like we've got some assuming locks. Well, that's cute. Is that Slaymaker? Is it a warded lock? Possibly, possibly. Let's put that to one side. Have a look at everything together in a minute. This is knocking the camera. Well, that's very cool. Dudley Lock Corp. So it looks like there's um, possibly a code on here which has been covered, which is very cool. Um, I don't know anything about this or whether I could even begin to learn to decode it, but love it. What a beautiful old lock. Ooh, street letter box lock, United States land. Is that like a push key lock, like... Um... What's this I've got here? One of these uh, French Pluton. We have like a key like this, possibly. I, I don't know. Very cool though. Might have some uh, levers in it. Uh, might be like one of those pancake locks. I don't know. Definitely don't know about that one, but again, really cool collector's piece. Oh, something just fell out. This is a, oh, do you know what? I don't think, even though uh, uh, I, I have obviously heard of Pape Zero Brazilian mate. This is the first one I've had, which is the mortise cylinder uh, with the uh, yeah, obviously the cross key cylinder. Very cool. A Mako lock. These are actually really fun picks. Oh, there we go. You can never say no to pack lock. They are, sorry about that. I was trying to stifle a sneeze and it, it just, I couldn't. So yeah, what I was going to say is, um, you can't say no to pack lock. They are genuinely really, really, really fun picks. But actually very much in the same regard as uh, Mako, just really fun locks to pick. Oh four nine. I don't know which Miwa this is actually. Uh, is it the? I know there's a U nine, which is a very difficult lock to pick. This one, I, I I don't know much about this one. Very cool. I think they do an easier way for one. Maybe. Maybe it's that. I don't. I don't know. If anybody knows more about Miwa than I do, please say. And another cool pack lock. Ah, this is their. Uh, US military one, I think. I think so. So I think this is the, uh, yeah, it says it's a US set one. So um, this is the pack lock military uh, locks, which are very cool. And there's more, there's actually more. So I'm looking here, so. Ah, 
are a Brinks extendable um, padlock. I I did pick up an extendable padlock the other day, but I can't remember what the brand was. That's very cool. Oh, I've just seen something even cooler at the back of this box. Look at this. A Starry Lock, Starry's Lock Sport poker chip. That's very cool. A little Ace 40 mil all brass. Everybody knows that I love all brass. Some, sometimes these little Ace padlocks can be a real pain um, to, to pick. And I don't really know exactly why. Oh, there's another little chip here, look. Um, I, I've actually been defeated by one of these before, a little Ace 40 mil. I'll move that box out of the way now. And last but no means least, Ooh, some keys. So, ah, oh, this must be the key to the papes. There we go. Works really nicely, actually. This will be a really fun one to pick. I think these are a step up from uh, some of the other branded cross key lots like Rober and things like that. Um, this looks like a one of those mortise keyway blockers. So you I think you just insert that through and turn it, then it blocks um, a, a a mortar slot keyway. I think I think that's what they're for. Ah, this is by uh, Hafel Hafel. I think that's a Dutch brand. Could be wrong. Then this one must be for the Miwa. That's right. And let's have a look at that one. Again, works beautifully. Hard to tell from this what's going on. Could be levers, could be wafers, uh, and almost certainly very, very difficult. So let me just rearrange all this, and then uh, we can look at it all together. So here we are. Look at all these amazing locks. I mean, I'm really spoiled. This is a fantastic range of sort of modern classics and antique locks. Really intriguing, and I'm just loving this uh, starry lock. Uh, merch as well. Um, a load of these will get stuck on my various lock and pick cases and any spares I'll distribute at, uh, at a meetup which I'm going to very soon in the UK. Um, talk about merch and this is great merch from Starlock. I actually have a, a storefront myself. I've just commissioned a new t-shirt design. Um, so please do go check that out. I'll put links below. There'll probably be links at the side of this video. Uh, I, I've got a range of t-shirt designs which some of you may or may not know about. I think they deliver to Europe and the US. Have a look, see what you think. Quite a number of you have bought some of my designs and some of the ones that I've had commissioned So um, and, and you seem to like them. So yeah, do go check out my merch store as well. That'd be really awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you again to Starry Lock for these amazing locks. Um, I feel really spoilt, and of course, I'll see you all next time.